This is Stride Away Podcast, Episode 26. Dr. Arlie Reynolds, veterinarian, canine nutritionist, and world-renowned sprint dog competitor, shares a story about the importance of efficient gait and synchronized stride in his performance teams. Thanks to Arlie for a few minutes of his time. He was a key speaker at the 2014 Purina Sporting Dog Summit. Well, Chris, it's been great to meet you this trip, and, um, you know, it's we both share uh, a pretty strong interest in performance dogs. Even though we have different arenas, I think a lot of the overlap is similar. And um, We've been talking this weekend about gait and structure and things like that, that I think we're all interested in how we breed dogs and how we train them. And I l- always tried to figure out a way to get my team to run as efficiently as possible. You know, our, our old adage is that um, if they could balance a, a glass between their shoulder blades, a glass of water, and not spill a drop, that's the kind of gait we want them to have. And we'd like them all to have that same gait. And I actually learned how to do that through a, an old Athabascan Indian named George Atla, who was a great mushing champion. And I, I got to work with George one year and learned a lot from him. And one of the things he taught me is how he had for years tried and tried to get his dog team to run together, to all have the same stride length. And um, he said that he, he had a lot of trouble figuring that out until one night he had a dream about a moose running through deep snow being chased by a pack of wolves. And the lead wolf in that pack would run forward and make a hole in the snow, and then the four wolves behind him would then land in that hole and take off to the next hole that that lead moose made. And so all the all of the, I'm sorry, lead wolf, all the wolves would be running the, basically the same stride length. And so that got George to thinking that he would maybe try his, um, his team that way. So the next time it snowed about 10 or 12 inches, instead of grooming the trail, he let them run through deep snow. And, and it did. It taught them all to, to jump the same distance so they all had the same stride length. And it only takes one or two times running through that type of snow before the whole team is really running in synchrony and you can see it if you watch the film of my team in the world championships each pair of dogs is almost completely synchronized and they're taking the same stride length and I think it does make them a lot more efficient and um, certainly is beautiful to watch them run like that you know, I always say that when they're when they're together like that it is like a a living breathing moving work of art you know and for me it's it's the thing that I strive for it doesn't happen all the time but when it happens it it kind of moves you you know it kind of um it affects you and 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 it's something that you you want to see again and again